Pretty active start to the week as we have got a storm five alert. We saw heavy rainfall this morning. Round two now working in from West Tennessee along a cold front. Let's take a look at power of five radars where we've got some rain cooled air, which feels very odd to say that when you're talking about temperatures that have fallen to the mid 50s for Nashville uh, over towards Dixon and into Camden. But we did get into the upper 60s today as a warm front lifted through. With that said, warm air south of us, those 70s around Corinth, Mississippi, Savannah, Tennessee, 67 in Fayetteville, Tennessee, and activity that's really firing up to the west. You take a look at a loop here over the last three hours. Showers going from the southwest to the northeast and some heavy rainfall this morning that really dumped a good amount of rain throughout southern parts of the bluegrass state. In fact, we continue with a flash flood warning uh, as you look throughout Callaway County, Marshall County, Kentucky. All that goes until five o'clock radar estimates in some spots over two and three inches and looking at some of the Skynet sites around uh, those areas that definitely does seem to be pretty valid. Now right now over in southwest Tennessee around Memphis severe thunderstorm warning until 430 this storm racing northeast at 55 miles per hour. So if this were to hold together, this is still uh, over two hours from the Nashville area, but we could start to see it work towards Jackson here uh, in about the next 40 minutes, getting towards Wrigley around 618. And that's really the next round, if you will, ahead of the cold front that's starting to fire up with this system that's bringing us this hectic Monday that we're having to deal with across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. Going south of I-40, the yellow that indicates a slight risk of severe weather. That's two out of five on our scale. This lighter green for everyone else. That's a one out of five, a marginal risk of severe weather, and that will be with us throughout the evening and into uh, about the midnight time frame when we finally see all of this pushing out over three inches of rain in Hopkinsville. Real time conditions. Skynet five. We're at 51 degrees. More rain on the way. We have seen just over six tenths of an inch in Nashville in the Bell Mead area. Top St. Thomas, Lebanon. 66 hundredths of an inch, 55 the temperature, more rain on the way for you all. The main threats with any of these storms will be damaging wind and heavy downpours that could lead to some isolated flash flooding and a very low threat of an isolated tornado that cannot be ruled out. But again, that's the lowest of all the categories. Now, exact track shows you that by 10 o'clock, the front's approaching heavier activity towards the Cumberland Plateau, and we'll start to see all of this pushing out through the overnight quieter weather tomorrow with a westerly wind than a reinforcing shot of cool air by tomorrow evening that will give us a northerly wind and we'll see temperatures even cooler by the middle of the week. So we just have to get through uh, about really the next six hours and then things will start to improve. Rain thunder slowly tapering off tonight. 49 eventually will be mostly cloudy with a little bit of a fog for some areas as that wind dies down 63 on Tuesday. More rain Wednesday and 50. Colder air is here by Thursday 40s to finish the week 50s with rain heading into the weekend and then 40s heading into next week. Make sure you download that Storm Shield app so that you can keep tabs on any storms that fire up and stay with us. We'll be right back here on this channel five at four.